modernizing the armed forces and increasing defense spending has been a priority for President Tsai Ing-wen, who came into office in 2016. The new money, which comes on top of planned military spending of $17 billion for the year starting in January, will need to be approved by Parliament. However, President Tsai's ruling party has a large majority, so its passage should be smooth. Now, according to a statement made by the Defence Ministry early on Thursday, their Chinese neighbours have continued to invest heavily in national defence budgets, with its military growing rapidly. The ministry went further to state that, quote, in the face of severe threats from the enemy, the nation's military is actively engaged in military building and preparation work, and it is urgent to obtain mature and rapid mass production weapons and equipment in a short period of time, adding that Taiwan aims to buy equipment, including cruise missiles and warships with the money. Now, Taiwan has been testing new long-range missiles off its southern and eastern coasts, and while it has not given details, diplomats and experts have said they are likely to be able to hit targets far into China. The announcement comes as Taiwan is in the middle of its annual Han Kuang military drills, which simulate fending off a Chinese attack. On Wednesday, Taiwanese fighter jets landed on a makeshift runway on a stretch of highway, which can be pressed into service in the event of a Chinese attack on its Air Force bases.